Hi, how do you get uh, SAP Neo uh, certificate to user mappings into integration suite? This was uh, one of the challenges one of our customers had and we wanted to figure out how can we actually work with this. So here we have the certificate to user mapping in the Neo, but in Cloud Foundry it is a little different and we need then to export these certificates and get them into the Cloud Foundry. To do this, we have created an, an iFlow here um, where we're first fetching the certificates. Then we filter these out or set a filter based on some uh, configuration parameters. And then we are running a Groovy script here that will then extract these payloads, create the different commands that you need to use. And we've built it with inline um, JSON so it just becomes quite easy to run. Okay, so this iFlow has now been configured with to fetch all payloads using the starts with CPI. So we can run this. And you can obviously find this in your uh, in the blog post that is being linked here. Uh, so we can see here we it first creates the role and then it, for each of these different service keys, will create the uh, service instance, will create the service key. And obviously you can change the script so it matches your requirements. Good. Then to do this, we need to use the Cloud Foundry environment. And this is a command that we need to run. And this is a CF logon, and then you need to use this uh, URL. And on your integration suite system or BTP cockpit, this will be this URL you will find here. So we will go here, we will run the command, we would log in with our email and then our password. Now we have our password, we can select the place where we want these to be. We'll select the free partner here. And the th before we obviously can get started with this, we also need to create the roles in the PI system, so in the monitoring here. You will then need to go onto the user role and create these different roles that you would be needing. And I think if we look at this uh, script that we called here, we have one that's called peel pass and I think there's actually two, which is a bit strange. Anyway, peel, bass. So we'll need to say add here, bass add. And the other one was peel, deal, bass, cast. Anyway, I think we need that one also. Um, in outer state, so that all works. Anyway, cool. So you obviously need to create these, so you are making sure that they work, and then in the iFlow you need to use these ones. Good. Next up is we want to run these commands that we got from here, and if we just take one of them at the time, we can run here. We can run, and this will then say, okay, this does not exist. Okay, no worries. We'll just take the next one. And now it is created. And then if we go back into our integration suite system under instances, we can now see the certificate here is being created, but there's no service key under it. So if I then take the corresponding command here, and then run this one, we can see it is instantaneously created. Uh, CF. I guess there is something about service keys that we can see and monitor in here. But it does take a little while for us to see it in here, I think. At least if you're creating them manually, it will take a little while um, to create them and then you can run them in here. You can also create them manually uh, by entering a key name here. You need to select the external certificate. So these are external certificate. And then you need to have the format here. And I think it specifies that this needs to be in this format. It needs to be PEM encoded. And the important thing here is that this starts with MII, uh, 
which I guess is the first part of the certificate, um, if it starts with lot or something like that, then it is base 64 bit encoded and you need to escape it and handle it uh, otherwise. There's actually also a way to generate certificates here where, where you just select type certificate and this will then create a certificate for the specific user um, and a private key that we can use to view this. So if we view here, we can see here the certificate and this is then created by this. It is valid here and here we got the private key. So we can use this when we are trying to send messages uh, to the system. Uh, if we do not want to use external uh, authorities for creating keys. So I think this can be really a good way if you want to enable certificates internally, uh, then use this approach. One thing I haven't figured out yet, probably we'll do that later, is can we actually set these, uh, what is the password that is being used here, or is this just a private thing that we can use? I hope you learned something about this. You can find a blog in the description that gives you some more details about this. You can also download the iFlow, download the Groove code, and I hope that you will be able to create this yourself and create some great integrations with this uh, setup. Um, so that was all I wanted to cover in this uh, this short video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, hit like, please uh, hit subscribe, and share it with whoever is in charge of this. Thank you.